The joy of the game uh, comes from just being out there and just playing. The competitive side of me uh, feels like we can win every game that we play. What I've learned is to, to, to always keep going. you to that those boring agonizing moments if you love that then you know you found something that's really true to you you know if you do the work you work hard enough dreams come true those times when you get up early and you work hard those times when you stay up late and you work hard those times when you don't feel like working you're too tired you don't want to push yourself but you do it anyway that is actually the dream If you're a fan of mine, you're a fan of winning. You're a fan of the Lakers. That's never going to change. Man, I gave my soul to this game, man. I, I, there's nothing more I could give. I wanted to be one of the best basketball players to ever play, and anything else that was outside of that lane, I didn't have time for. It's not about my jerseys that are hanging up there for me. You know, it's about the jerseys that were hanging up there before. Growing up and watching all these great players play and uh, learning so much from them, to now be a part of that wall, you know, means everything to me. You get older, you start to understand that really it's about the next generation that these championships do come and go. But the most important thing you can do is to pay everything that you learn forward to the next generation to come. And that's truly how you create something that lasts forever. I love storytelling. Imagine, like, winning an Oscar, how ridiculous that would be. And the Oscar goes to... Unfortunately for us athletes, we've been pigeonholed into thinking that we can only be one thing. I'm here to show people that we can do much more than that. Winning an Oscar, winning the Emmy, and the Annie, those are things that are showing other athletes that come after. No, no, there's more to this thing. The discipline, the commitment, the team, the community. How do I take those lessons and move those here? Having that sharp focus is something that I got from the game of basketball. You have to dance beautifully in the box that you are comfortable dancing in. My box was to be extremely ambitious within the sport of basketball. Your box is different than mine. Everybody has their own. It's your job to try to perfect it and make it as beautiful of a canvas as you can make it. And if you have done that, then you have lived a successful life. You have lived with mama mentality. And being married to my wife, Vanessa, it's, it's fun. I mean, I, we have a good time together. I love her tremendously, and, uh, but we're best friends, too. That's a blessing. When we were raising our daughters, one of the things that we teach them is you just got to try your best. And you just got to give it your all, give it everything you have. As parents, you got to lead by example. If you want your kids to do whatever it is they want to accomplish in life, you got to show them. I have four girls, so my mission is to make sure women have opportunities our daughters will grow up understanding that they can be strong, they can be independent, they can be fierce. I just love spending time with my family and just, you know, just being a husband, being a father, being a goofball, just, <laughs> just having a good time with my kids. I grew up a diehard, I mean a diehard Laker fan. And to spend 20 years here, I mean you can't you can't write something better than this. You got 19 or 20 years to play with the Lakers. Yeah, 19, 19 or 20 at least. Appreciating all this 
you know, the journey that we've been on. You know, we've been through our ups and been through our downs. I think the most important part is that we all stay together throughout. You guys will always be in my heart. Thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I, God, I love you guys. What can I say? Mamba out. Thank you.